Okay, so I'm going to show you another thing uh, regarding the concept of the swing here. So I want to talk about the central access point. So let's say I set up. Your stance dictates how much you can move within your access point. So if I have a wide stance, and if, you know, this is ridiculously wide, but if I take it back, I can sway all the way over here, right? I can sway all the way over here. And if I have a really narrow stance, like so, I can't sway at all. Because if I sway, I gotta fall over, right? So the width of your stance dictates how much you can move within your central access point. So the access point would be running through the middle of my body here. So if I set up to the, uh, the club here, this is an eight iron, excuse me, this is an eight iron. And let's say I'm gonna sway. I'm gonna purposely sway an insane amount. So I'm gonna take the club back and I'm gonna sway. Okay, so I've swayed, right? So why is swaying bad? Because for me to get the ball square, I need to sway the exact same amount I originally swayed to begin with. And if I don't do that, then my arc, so imagine there was a circle drawn that around my body here. I'll, I'll do, I'll, 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 um, I'll have some images to show you what I mean. So imagine there's a circle around. If I'm swaying, my arc is changing. And if I don't come back, I'm gonna hit way behind the ball. Or, you know, I'm going to, um, my arc will be different. So therefore my club will shallow, uh, will hit the ground at the wrong place because my arc has changed. So that's why having a center, central um, axis is so important because now for me to hit the club square on the ball, I just have to come through on much the same axis that I originally had in my setup. That's why if you look at really, really, really good players, you will notice that their impact position is almost the exact same as their setup. Doesn't change much. They might have their weight, you know, shifting forward. Um, you know, they'd have their weight a little bit more if it's the, the driver, they might be, you know, a little bit up or whatever. But you're, the really, really consistent players, they have the exact same impact position as their setup. And there's a reason for that, because that means their arc is staying consistent. So the central access point is, is, is important because by keeping your access point relatively central, then you know that your arc isn't going to change. But if you change the access point by swaying, your arc changes. Um, so now let's address one more thing too, before we go here. Remember how I told you the feet dictate how far you can really move within your access point. So if we go really narrow, you can't really move at all. If you go really wide, well, you can sway a lot. So if you set up, you can move your body within the insides of your feet. So the human body, unfortunately, we have to have, you can't be perfect. And what I mean by you can't be perfect is we can't twist our bodies without moving our access point a little bit because our bodies just aren't made for that. We're not machines. We're not, you know, pieces of straw. And, and also too, we're trying to create power. So if we want to create power, we have to get our weight shifted. The pressure points of our feet have to be have to be dealing in the inside. So it's okay to shift a little bit to the inside of your feet. That's okay. And when you're coming through the ball, you know it's okay to be on the inside of your feet here. You don't want to be outside your feet though, because then your access point changes.